What's going on guys, check it out, Cusion HQ, my name is Chris, and welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, this is my 2020 Dream Desk Setup Tour. I figured, you know what, a lot of us are all stuck at home right now, whether you're working from home, gaming from home, whatever you're doing, you're probably spending a ton of time around some serious desk space, uh, either that or on your couch watching Netflix crying, like I do. So, um, you know, other than that, let's go ahead and break this down. I will do my best to link everything down below in the description, like I always do, if you guys like anything you can head and check it out if i miss anything please do not hesitate let me know i will do my best to find that and link it down below as well in the comment section um if this video does well in a week or two i will give you guys a full behind the scenes studio slash game room tour everything behind me is completely different i've been working on this for months everything is basically to a full completion so um yeah let's let's uh let's get on with this video guys this is my my dream desk setup tour for 2020 Okay guys, first things first, let's get and start with the chair that I use on a daily basis. This is the Ergo Chair 2 by a company known as Autonomous. Uh, now I used to use regular cheap chairs in the past and I even went on to some gaming chairs. There's really nothing wrong with gaming chairs, but uh, I don't know, I just feel like after a while my back would start to really bother me. Um, so I took the time to research some chairs, I found this, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're going to be spending a ton of time working at a desk, Invest in a solid chair. Your back will thank you for it later. My posture has improved. I have better night's sleep, believe it or not. I'm telling you guys, a solid chair, it's going to do just wonders for you. Um, below my chair to protect my hardwood floors, I have this really unique uh, mat by a company known as Floor Pad. Now, I didn't want to buy a cheap little piece of plastic to put on the floor like you'll see in a regular office space. I wanted something a little bit more unique, so I started to scour the internet and I found this company. They do really, really awesome work. This design here is the Hype Beast design. If a lot of you guys out there have played CSGO, you definitely are familiar with this uh, art style for some of the skins and the guns in the game. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. Uh, me personally, I'm into all different types of wild, crazy type of art, and I'm a sucker for the color purple. Uh, and I just love the whole mashup of colors and this, this crazy looking beast. Definitely unique. It's definitely gonna be something that you're gonna notice. And it, it's just different. It's a little bit more flair. And it's soft. It's super comfortable with your feet on as well. Um, now this company, I believe they also do some custom stuff. I'm not 100%. I know they do do eSports stuff. You can see here the chair to my right is sitting on a Temple Storm uh, floor pad as well. They've got under 100 bucks. Pretty uh, unique mats. If you guys are interested, they'll be linked down below as well. So let's talk about the desk itself. If you guys have been a fan of other YouTube reviewers, you probably have seen this desk before. It's nothing too new, but I kind of Frankenstein my own desk together to come up with my own little unique concoction here. I'm gonna break down what I exactly did to make my desk a little bit more unique and fit my needs. Yes, the top of the desk is the IKEA Coral B. You cannot find this in their computer section because this is actually a countertop. So if you're looking for it, go to their kitchen section and you'll find this exact piece. It comes in a few different finishes. I went with the darker Coral B finish here. It does have that very, very nice uh, wood top finish to it. Be uh, you know cautious though because this is not a solid piece of wood and it can damage pretty easily if you guys don't take care of this desk. The biggest thing that will happen to this desk over time, it probably won't last four to five years because 
it's not meant to be a desk. It will bow over time due to the length of this desk and being sit you know, sitting on legs, it will start to bow. That is the biggest thing that will happen to it. But I try to increase the longevity of this desk uh, by going to their computer section, checking out some of their actual computer desks, and I found they had a sit-stand desk. The name is not on the top of my head right now, but just like I said, check the description. Uh, and they have two options for their sit-stand desk. They have a manual crank option, or for another hundred dollars more, uh, they have their uh, electronic option. I opted for the manual because a hundred dollars cheaper is just a, you know more bang for my buck. I wasn't using the top of it anyway, so I came home. I shaved off a little bit of this metal that you could see on the bottom here because it was a little bit longer than the actual width of my desk, and. Um, this, these legs are, yeah, they're sit-stand legs. I can easily crank this desk up as high as I want or as low as I want, which is awesome for productivity. And if you notice, underneath the desk, this has this really, really long, super sturdy uh, metal bar that shoots across. So bowing is just not gonna happen for this desk, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I also went ahead and I picked up the, um, Ikea uh, Signum, which is a little bit uh, it's cheap. It's like 15 bucks for some cable management and I can just uh, stuff all my uh, my you know my cables and things like that. That's why I get most of them off of the floor here. It looks like a mess, but I can tell you right now, you do not see that when you walk in the room, which is great for when it comes to cable management. I'm not looking to win any awards here, but you don't see my cables. You can't knock me for it. All said and done, the desk with the legs and that Signum uh, easily under $400. I want to say it was probably like $350. Uh, just got to put a little bit of... Uh, manual work in there guys and get this thing done and you have a nice awesome beautiful looking wood top sit stand desk so let's talk about what sits on top of this beautiful desk of mine and to my right you'll see this cool little buddy of mine this is known as the new money dunny by a an artist known as tristan eaton i've been following him for quite some time and i'm a huge fan of his work uh, Kid Robot is the company that creates these dunnies. He actually created the dunny for them 10 years ago. He came back 10 years later and he brought us this new money dunny. Chrome finish, very awesome, super heavy little piece of metal here, uh, very unique. I had to have it sit here on my desk. I love the chrome finish and I love the way the lights just bounce off it at night coming from the PC. Gives my setup a little extra flair. Very, very cool. Huge fan of collectibles, so you will notice these all over the place in the studio and on the desk. Um, to my right behind that, uh, I have my trusty little Gerber knife here. This thing is super old. It was given to me by an old buddy that I used to work with. It's literally probably over five years old. It's kind of shot, um, but I just feel like you need a knife on hand at all times. Uh, I don't have any drawers here, so it kind of just sits on my desk, and I used to unbox things like that. But uh, I'm telling you guys right now, if you have any good recommendations on knives, let me know. I'm not a huge knife buff, but uh, I think I'm due for an upgrade here. Uh, and then behind the knife, I probably have my most used tool of all time. This thing is an absolute lifesaver. It is a beast of a tool. It literally is under like, I think 60 or 70 bucks. And um, it's just a must have. If you're like me and you work on, you know, keyboards or mice or actual building PCs, you know, there's a lot of tight little spots you have to get into with some small little bit spaces here. I'm telling you guys right now, this is the wow stick. This thing, the name just fits it. It's a USB charged uh, little uh, electric drill bit. It's it's phenomenal. It has, you know, forward, reverse, a little flashlight at the end. It comes with like 40 different drill bits. Uh, this cool little stand that it sits into. It looks really nice sitting on the desk here. And it's phenomenal. It saves me all the time. I love it. And I also purchased this uh, little wow bits, uh, like I guess holster for some of my most common used bits. And uh, you just push the button and it pops up. And there you have my... Uh, most used bits. It also comes with a demagnetizer. So if you want to build PCs, you can do that. Very, very awesome. Uh, strongly suggest getting yourself a wow stick. Okay, so moving on up, we'll skip the PC. I'll save that for last. Uh, let's see what's on top of my PC. You'll notice here, I have a few more collectibles, some lighting, and a pretty unique clock. The clock itself is by a sharper image. It tells time in increments. Pretty unique and different. Uh, I like the whole square look. It's kind of like that little modern flair to it. Uh, it comes in either white or black and it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's under $30, but I just thought it looked cool. Uh, then you have this little Diablo head here. I'm a huge Diablo fan. I uh, got this with the, the collector's edition for Diablo 3. 
Uh, don't really play much anymore. God, please give us Diablo 4. Uh, moving on to this little ugly duckling right here. This bad boy is by another artist I follow known as Jason Freeney. Little dead duck. Got the black side here with the little white eye crossed out and the little bones inside. I don't know. Pretty cool collectible. I like it. It's like $20. Then we have this nice, unique ring light. Uh, under 30 bucks. I believe this is actually $29.99, maybe 35 bucks. Uh, really, really awesome for some soft lighting, uh, and it makes for some great B-roll. Uh, it has a little touch button up top here for three different modes of brightness, and a little USB 2.0 on the side, which I don't really use at all. Um, but like I said, it gives you that little extra flair for some uh, B-roll or some really soft lighting, uh, depending like if you're streaming or recording. So now onto the center of the desk. Uh, this mouse mat was picked up from Novel Keys. I love the little colors, all the little X's and O's. I'm a huge keyboard fan. Uh, I'm always swapping out desk pads here. So uh, just go to Novel Keys, find a nice desk pad. They're pretty inexpensive, like 20, 25 bucks. Um, the mouse itself, I'm always reviewing mice here on the channel. Currently, I'm just messing around and using the Model O. It's my go-to. I love this mouse. I got it in matte white. Uh, the RGB effect is beautiful, and I went ahead and modded it with a uh, little purple ascended cable here. As you guys can tell, I am a sucker for the color purple. Um, the keyboard itself. The keyboard here is a custom keyboard that I built myself, my little endgame board uh, by Ramaworks. I will really break down a whole video on this in the future but uh yeah this keyboard here is very very beautiful got that nice purple finish with that gold flare on the back um little mirror finish here with a little space cable coiled purple cable to go with it a dope little gengar keycap i love this keyboard absolutely awesome uh and then to my left some more custom keycaps just sit here i'm always swapping them out i have a ton of these these are just a couple that i use here it looks cool sitting on the desk uh huge fan of custom uh, artisan keycaps here uh, I also have an Echo Show 8 with my little logo on it. it. Tells me the weather, the time. I control all my smart devices from that. Uh, and then I have a Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, Stream Deck is pretty unique. If you're streaming or editing, uh, quick little macros. Uh, very, very awesome. I strongly suggest getting a Stream Deck. It helps you out with a lot of productivity. To the left of that is my Sennheiser GSX-1000 amplifier. Uh, if you are a gamer at all like I am, get yourself a nice matching pair of headphones. I strongly suggest a nice pair of open backs. I'm using a pair of Sennheisers as well. As long as you're under 150 ohms, this thing will really deliver a super big punch. I'm telling you, your gaming will be completely brought to the next level. I cannot stress that enough. A very, very awesome little amplifier that I can't get enough of. 7.1 surround sound on this bad boy. Uh, music mode, movie mode, uh, first person shooter mode. You could just a ton of different options. The volume knob is great. It's cool looking as well. Uh, and it really does make a huge impact and difference when it comes to some immersive gameplay. On to the left side of the desk, you'll notice another little collectible here. This is Solid Snake inside the orange box, little bobblehead here for all of you Metal Gear fans. Uh, I have a wireless charger by Mophie for my cell phone. Uh, I strongly suggest a phone charger. I mean, you need a phone charger. <laughs> um, and then behind that, you'll notice my Line 6 UX2 mixer. Uh, I love this mixer. It connects via XLR all the way to this microphone that I'm talking to you guys now on. This is the AT2035, a little Audio Technica uh, condenser microphone sitting on a blue arm stand here with a WinTech pop guard. And um, I use PodFarm. The Line 6 UX2 comes with PodFarm. Trust me, I've done a video of this in the past. Uh, this setup is great. Whether you're a streamer, content creator, whatever you're doing, talking online, Discord, whatever, I don't care, gameplay, you will always sound this crisp. No editing. This is how you sound all the time. Very, very beautiful uh, little vocal setup I got going on here. Under 350 bucks too. Um, then you'll notice in between my monitors, I have my intro camera and my stream camera. This is the Sony A5100 sitting on top of a Manfrotto mount here. And I have it powered by a little $20 dummy battery here, so I don't got to keep swapping out charges. And it all gets fed into the PC here using a um, Elgato cam link. Speaking of the Elgato, they're a huge fan here on the desk. Uh, I have the Elgato key light here for some extra lighting. Uh, very, very important light. A little expensive, like I think it's like 200 bucks, but it's worth every penny in my opinion. 
Uh, very, very flexible light. You could change the Kelvin, the brightness, everything you need. You can control it via your smartphone, your PC, or even the Stream Deck like I do. I turn it on and off here. I set a little macro up for that. Very, very uh, useful, kind of out of the way. I love it. It's it's great. Definitely st strongly suggest that. If you're you know doing any type of content creation, grab yourself an Elgato key light as well. Now on to the monitors. I have a lot of screen real estate here. Uh, my main monitor is an Asus RG Swift. Uh, the model numbers, like I said, all linked down below. Uh, 165 hertz monitor, 1440p uh, IPS panel. Um, super immersive, beautiful colors. Uh, really, really amazing gaming monitor. Uh, it's around $500, a little expensive, but when it comes to having a solid gaming monitor, I just had to have it. Above that is another Asus monitor. Same thing, 27 inch. The bezels are pretty much nice and matching. Uh, and this is just a 1080p Asus monitor. I watch a lot of my YouTube videos up here. Um, this is around, I think, $300. And then to my left, this is the bad boy here. This is an LG uh, 34 inch ultra wide monitor, 75 Hertz IPS panel, which is great because I strictly use this monitor for reading. Um, if I'm reading articles, discord chats, whatever I'm doing, this beautiful monitor here gets the job done. Um, and I love it and it matches in length. when you break everything down here, it kind of really fits beautifully on the desk. And uh, yeah, I really can't get enough of it. And it's pretty inexpensive. This monitor actually for being an ultra wide uh, is under $300, I believe. A solid purchase. And uh, I'm gonna break down how I got it to be vertical like this because the actual uh, mount that it comes with doesn't allow you to put the monitor vertical. So I had to go ahead and take that mount off and purchase my own bracket. And in the back here, you'll see I have this uh, beefier uh, mount and this is because it is a gas spring mount and a gas spring mount is just kind of a more sturdier mount for a monitor and it allows you to have more uh, I guess you could say fluid movements in your monitor so I could take this monitor I could spin it all the way full 360 if I want to I could tilt it front back move it around just kind of float there and it holds the weight of this monitor with ease a uh, little bit more expensive for the mount probably like $65 but you know I, I just had to have it uh, the main monitor just sits on my desk. There's no mount for that at all. And then I have a pretty inexpensive extended mount, but you can't really see here holding up the top monitor. Um, and I believe that was like under 40 bucks. Uh, I'll link it if I can find it. But that is how I have my screens all set up. So my main one here is all my gameplay editing, whatever I'm doing with this beautiful immersive screen. And then the one up top is a little 1080p bad boy. And then I read everything on the left hand side. I love it. Super easy for productivity and uh, just works for me. I can't get enough of it. Now, last but not least, the beast that powers the entire setup. This custom built PC has been dubbed Ice Cream Drip because it's just that sweet. The inside looking like an ice cream parlor with all these RGB lights. I opted for the Leon Lee case in white. If you guys are looking for a case with beautiful tempered glass panels to really show off all those pretty parts and also have plenty of space to work and clean in, Trust me, look no further, this is it. Inside, I'm rocking the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Master Motherboard, an Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to gaming and editing. This case can fit up to nine fans. Is it necessary? No, but it could, so why not, right? I wanted max airflow with plenty of color, I went ahead and I threw in six Corsair LL120 fans, which you could see at the bottom and the right side, and three Corsair HD Clear 120s up top that attached to my liquid cooler, which is the Corsair H150i Pro. I also grabbed 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z Royal RAM with a speed of 3600. I uh, opted for the mirrored gold plated version to match my keyboard, and my graphics card is the Asus Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Super. The white edition because I wanted to match the case and all the black and white cables. For storage, I rock a 500 gigabyte Samsung 970 Plus M.2 hard drive, a secondary Samsung Evo one terabyte SSD, and a four terabyte external for video storage. And the rig is juiced by a 750 watt power supply. All said and done, this custom-built PC cost me roughly around $3,000.
So there you have it, my dream desk setup tour for the year 2020. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Yes, quick disclaimer, everything here was paid for by me. None of this was sponsored or given to me. Everything was acquired by myself. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think of this video and what you think of my setup. So please let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, share the video with a friend. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. I want to grow this community bigger and better with all of you guys. Uh, and I want to see what setups you're rocking, so don't hesitate to join the Discord and uh, drop some photos. All right, guys, new videos every week here. I will see you next time. I love all of you. Peace out.